photography. It's not always about taking photographs. Sometimes it's just an excuse to get out and have an adventure. And the camera, well, that just gives your adventure a little bit more purpose. So you'll notice I'm uh, wearing my Ranger Tom outfit and got a new piece of equipment to aid my photography so that can mean only one thing, a photographic adventure of epic proportions. Oh, we're, we're going to kayak to some islands and camp out for a couple of days. I'm, I'm with Simon Baxter, by the way, and I am very, very excited. Safety first, every time. Right. Now I'm a bit nervous because I'm not the most experienced paddler and this boat is fully loaded with gear strapped all over it and inside it. So I really don't know how it's gonna feel and it probably, almost definitely will feel completely different to what I am used to. So we are officially underway and I can't believe it. The, uh, the wind has picked up and the lock is very choppy. I'm not sure if that's coming across on camera. Simon's here, hopefully he's gonna steer out of the way. <laughs> so Simon's just getting used to his boat. I'm quite keen to get to the islands and actually get this kayak unloaded because it's full of gear right now. Absolutely full of gear. Everything's protected in dry bags, apart from this camera that you can see on my left shoulder. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's the risk I'm taking to, <laughs> to make these videos. Um, anyway, it'll be far easier for me to uh, get organized and get filming once we get this kayak unloaded and get camp set up. So that's the plan, get to the islands, get out of these uh, rough waters and see if we can find a nice campsite for the for the evening or for the next two evenings really so some of you may have noticed I don't have a spray deck on um, I do have one I didn't bring it I didn't think it was necessary although <laughs> after the chop of the crossing and I'm thinking it would have been handy it also would have been a nice kind of deck to put camera gear on the uh, should I venture out in the kayak with the camera which is the plan but yeah man this is so nice I love I love photography like full stop but the reason I got into photography all those years ago gosh all those decades ago was because it gave me that extra extra juice, extra kind of motivation to get out and do stuff. You know, photography just ties in so well with almost every outdoor activity. So, you know, what better excuse to come and explore some remote Scottish islands in a kayak than to hopefully come away with a, an image, a unique image. It's kind of what I'm hoping. But I've got to be honest with you, man. It's just a, a boy's adventure. Whoa. Your wake is rolling me over. <laughs> right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see if we can find a, a suitable campsite. We're just gonna hug the shore of the islands, uh, nice and sheltered here. Find a campsite and then unload. I just need to get unloaded, man. There's too much gear in this kayak, and I'm worried if I flip it, I won't be able to flip it back. Flipping the kayak was the least of my worries as we had been paddling for hours without finding any suitable campsites. You see, these islands, they're rugged, wild and not as accessible as we had hoped. But finally, as the sun was beginning to set, we made it to a flat piece of land which would make for a perfect campsite. Oh, oh yeah, that's a rock. Okay, <laughs> it's been a long, hard-fought battle, but we have made it to camp. We, we've we been kayaking for hours all around these islands, and you know, it starts off fun, maybe we'll just see what's around the next corner, so on and so forth. Before you know it, you've done all the islands, not found a suitable campsite, and annoyingly, the best campsite was the first one that we came across hours and hours ago, and now we're all the way back at the beginning, which is fine. So, uh, midges are out, which is a bit annoying. 
so we'll get camp set up I oh, need some food real bad and photography I mean I hope so um it's gonna be whatever it's gonna whatever's you know <laughs> whatever I shoot is gonna be from here so oh man right I need to get changed food camp all the good stuff So we finally got camp set up now. It's a beautiful spot, a great campsite, apart from the midges, you know, it's a great campsite. Just um, just this peninsula, this, this one piece of flat grass amongst all of the hilly, rocky landscape that are these islands or that make up these islands. Anyway, that is camp done. So in here is uh, some dry clothes and I'm gonna get changed in that tent because not only am I getting eaten alive by midges, um, I'm also, I've got a wet, you know, I'm wet and, uh, not very comfortable so change your clothes get some food on oh maybe just take five minutes to sit down and relax so um oh, how are the inside of my top oh so my dinner plans have gone a bit uh, a bit wrong originally i was going to have a, a fire and cook over the fire but um, when we arrived here, I saw that there was a fire ban, so uh, yeah, no fires on the island. So I've got my jet boil. My jet boil does not work with my Ridge Monkey pan because the jet boil is all or nothing. There's no simmer control. It's just full beans, full heat, so anything just burns. And as well as that, if I put the pan on top of the jet boil, it snuffs out the flame. I've kind of built this contraption with a couple of rocks, which not only stops the flame being snuffed out, but it also allows the uh, frying pan to sit a little bit higher so the food doesn't get burnt but if all goes well <laughs> we're gonna have uh, lamb steaks with bro broccoli and peppercorn sauce yeah it's gonna be interesting to see if we can actually make this work I'm, I'm not entirely convinced let these uh, oh, let these rest for a little bit can you see me I've got a head now and anyway it doesn't matter is it Woo, hot Right, broccoli's on. Oh yeah, that is broccoli. Done. Get in there. Now, all that's really left to remaining is the sauce. Peppercorn. Ooh I present to you organic grass-fed lamb steaks, broccoli, and peppercorn sauce, all done on a jet boil and a ridge monkey this might be the worst thing i've ever eaten oh all the best all right sitting down for dinner simon is there somewhere in his jazzy shorts <laughs> wearing shorts because he forgot trousers and i am about to tuck into lamb peppercorn sauce and broccoli with a sprinkling of midges oh that looks good that's cooked Mmm, that's a meal. <laughs> that is a jet boil um, ridge monkey meal. I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the midge. Intolerable. Mm. Oh, out, over and out. Well, good morning everybody and what a beautiful morning it is completely still no wind nice and warm of course the midges are out but that's part of life here in Scotland no big deal ah oh, man it's glorious we arrived on the island quite late last night and by the time we set up camp and got everything organized it was dark and woke up early this morning and it was dark <laughs> so I've had no chance to really 
sort of explore and try and find composition. So let's go for a little walk close to camp, which is just across the way there. And there's this beautiful composition. I mean, it's, it's lovely and simple. It's very obvious. It's the one that anybody would shoot if they were here right now. And it's this nice panoramic of these Scots pines with Sleoch, which is a Scottish mountain, in between the pines. And it's just all reflected beautifully in this water. You know, I, I just want Summit to get the ball rolling. And this is as good a shot as any, so I'm going for a 16 by 9 framing or aspect ratio. And we'll start the day with a nice, simple, yet pleasing shot. Gosh, so I've had to come into the tent to try and escape the midges <laughs> so I can eat my breakfast because I had my coffee before but the only way you can drink a coffee in this environment is just to keep moving. Just walk, drink, walk, drink. So as soon as you stop, you get swarmed. Um, so I'm in the tent now, man. It's hot. It's humid. And naively, I thought there would be no midges in the tent, but they're obviously they're on my clothes. So when I get in the tent... It's just a midge fest in here. But it's, it's nowhere near as bad as outside, so there is that. You can see the camera. You're uh, it's starting to steam up there. It's like a bit of a sauna in here and the sun's not even out yet. <laughs> so, I think the only way to escape the midges is to get out on the kayak and get into the open water. So I'll have my breakfast and then I think that will be the, uh, the next thing to do. Hmm. Have a paddle around, maybe see if we can find a composition from the kayak. That would be nice. Get me away! Get me away from land! Oh. Oh. So, the only way that I can see to escape the midges is to... Um, just get away from land. That's what I'm doing. I'll just happily go and paddle out, sit in the open water. Oh, just for a bit of respite. I don't know how far I need to go though, they're still on me. Oh, I can feel them biting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, looks like we might have, uh, might actually get a kayak image after all, just paddling around and noticed a uh, potential composition, a lovely strip of trees with a mountainous backdrop. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking it's got to be a pano. But I don't know if it's possible to shoot a pano handheld from a kayak. 
I guess we're gonna have to try and just give it a go. All right, we'll get the camera out and see if we can shoot this handheld. Should be alright, should be pretty straightforward as long as I don't, <laughs> as long as I don't roll over, we'll be alright. We're going to want a nice wide aperture, probably f5.6 because we're shooting handheld and uh, image stabilization is on. All right, so that was a 60th of a second. I'm thinking I'm going to need to up my ISO because um, uh, 60th second, even though I've got image stabilization, might not be the best thing to do. So we're going to go 125th of a second. ISO 400 and on this camera shouldn't be a problem at all oh yeah that's nice I'm not gonna go for the pano I don't think it's necessary just gonna paddle back a bit and change my perspective slightly because looking at it from here it's actually two islands not one island I thought it was one strip of land but I think it's actually two islands next to each other so the perspective of the trees on the islands changes as I'm drifting. The problem with this is I'm disturbing the water so we're gonna have to wait, let the water settle, but that's okay. That's nice. <laughs> oh what a life man! What a life! <laughs> uh, I whinge a lot on this channel. I do, I complain about things I shouldn't complain about and sometimes I feel the pressure of weekly videos and the pressure of constantly trying to get nice images that people are impressed and inspired by. It's this constant battle between my own kind of self-doubt and then creativity and then pressure. But every now and again you get a moment. A moment where I want to slap myself in the face for ever complaining, ever, about anything. And this is one of those moments. Shooting a beautiful scene from a kayak floating on a Scottish loch in the far northern highlands. Yeah. <sighs> I need to pinch myself, wake up, <laughs> get a real job. So whilst floating around here in a Scottish lock, it would be rude, rude of me not to find a lone tree with a square crop <laughs> and get an image. Because you know every video has to have a square image, it's law now, it's written into my YouTube contract. <laughs> so, lone tree, square composition, yeah, why not eh? Why not? So we're now leaving the mainland, we've packed up camp and we're paddling across this beautiful water that can only be described as glass, it's fantastic. Now I'll take this opportunity to heavily and aggressively plug my calendar, my 2022 calendar. I've only printed one run, a relatively small number, smaller than I did last year because I just want them to sell, uh, which <laughs> sounds, sounds like I'm some sort of capitalist wolf of Wall Street. Um, but basically I, I want them all shifted in a relatively short space of time because it's quite disruptive having to pack and send calendars you know three four times a week 
all the way. Don't do it, Simon. You. Ah, he was going to crash into me. He doesn't like me selling stuff on my channel. So I'll not tell you about my uh, my dislike of of packing calendars every day until Christmas, but they are available uh, to purchase. And if you order one between now and Friday, 6 p.m. UK time Friday, so that's what, 48 hours, um, I'll sign them all the orders between now and 6 p.m. on Friday. I'll, I'll hand sign, because uh, I know some people like that. Uh, so there you go. Calendar's available. Link in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, comment if, if you have anything to say. Uh, please, no criticism of my paddling skills. This is a relatively new hobby for me. So um, there we go. Right, I'm waffling. So we're going to head off. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye for now.